Hey guys, Brennan here for R&B Reviews. Today I'm going to be talking about um, the film Monster Squad. Um, the um, This is made by the uh, writer director of Night of the Creeps, as you know I'm already a fan of. But um, I, I bought this on a blind buy. I, I'd never seen a trailer for it, images, anything like that. I only knew it had something to do with Fred Decker. And Fred Decker, man, they got to give him more stuff to do in Hollywood because this guy, he just hit it out of the park with two awesome horror flicks. I watched this last night and it was a, one cool flick. I mean, I, I had a lot of fun watching this. Usually when I, you know, I don't, I try not to do a lot of blind buys, but um, I, I knew it was directed by Fred Decker, so I had to check it out. It was co-written by Shane Black, who also wrote Lethal Weapon and a great film called A Kiss Kiss Bang Bang. If you haven't seen it, check it out. It's a great flick. Um, I get in the plot of Monster Squad. A group of kids have a treehouse club called the Monster Club, and uh, they basically sit around, draw monsters, talk about monsters, that kind of thing. When it so happens that Dracula is bringing together a group of ghouls, including uh, the mummy, uh, Frankenstein monster, played by Tom Noonan of Manhunter fame. Uh, you, you, you'll recognize him. Well, you probably won't recognize him in the makeup, but he's a fantastic actor. The Wolfman and um, sort of a creature of the Black Lagoon ripoff, the Gill Man, although the Gill Man looks awesome. Um, and Dracula is trying to restore the balance between every hundred years that he, he sort of gets a chance to restore the balance in the world to either good or evil and it's been you know Dracula's been losing the last time it came around from Van Helsing and so this time around Dracula decides to see his chance and these kids are the only ones who know what's going on and they know how to stop Dracula after having read um, Van Helsing's diary. Pretty basic plot I mean think like Goonies meets Abbott and Costello meet Frankenstein. I was watching the extras for this movie after I had watched it, and uh, Fred Decker cites uh, Abbott and Costello meet Frankenstein as one of his main influences, and I was just so happy to hear that, because that's the exact movie I was thinking of when I was watching it, one of my childhood favorites. If you haven't seen Abbott and Costello meet Frankenstein, it's a great flick. If you can get past the whole black and white stigma. I know a lot of people don't like older films, but there's really nothing not to like. The Monster Squad is, it's just, the dialogue is so funny, and um, the makeup effects in this movie are just great. I mean, Universal didn't want to make this movie, so they kind of had to do all the monster effects, you know, without stepping on the copyrighted images and stuff like that. So they'd do Frankenstein design differently, um, the Wolfman, well, there's been tons of werewolves in movies, so they just had to sort of do a different design for that. Um... Because Lon Chaney Jr. is in The Wolfman is very basic. And um, the uh, real, I want to say, best makeup design, in my opinion, was Gilman. The Gilman and The Wolfman, I thought, both looked great. But Gilman is really cool look, and I wish they would have had more of him in the movie. The kids in the flick are funny. I mean, this movie does not talk down to kids at all. It, in fact, pays them a great deal of respect. And it really kind of brought me back to my childhood, you know, when you have clubs and stuff like that. No girls allowed, that kind of stuff really, really brought me back. And this is a flick I wish I'd seen when I was a kid, but I enjoy it just as much now. And for being a PG-13 movie, I kind of thought they got away with quite a bit for... Well, in the 80s, movies got away with a lot more. That's when, like, PG, PG-13 films were, you know, allowed to get away with a lot more, a lot more language. The kids are swearing in it, you know, shooting these creatures with a shotgun, that kind of thing. And the movie's lines are just great. I mean, particularly when one kid kicks the Wolfman right in the... right, right, right in the nards. It's awesome. I mean, the movie, I, I laughed through most of it. I really enjoyed it. Um, it looks great. I mean, Fred Decker knows how to make a film. It's a real shame after this he went on to do RoboCop 3 and has kind of fallen off the map since then. Give this guy more work. He is awesome. He knows what he's doing. Monster Squad and Night of the Creeps is proof of that, 100%. Um, Monster Squad is just, it's a fun, cool little flick. Um, it's... It's got great characters. It doesn't talk down to kids at all. I really like movies where it's sort of kids, you know, on an adventure of their own. But um, a lot of times I find that, you know, child actors tend to suck. These guys, I didn't know who these kid child actors were before. I'd never seen any of them before. And um, they all did a great job. I mean, they were all believable. They were all, they all acted like kids, essentially. And, um... And the performances by the monsters is, is great, um... 
guy who plays Dracula, I don't know who his name is, but he did a great job because you got some big shoes to fill when you say you're being Dracula. Same with Frankenstein. Tom Noonan uh, is a great actor and a big, big time method actor. Uh, if you haven't seen Manhunter, check that flick out. It's a really good movie. A sort of a prequel to all the Hannibal Lecter movies. And um, The Wolfman, I don't know who did The Wolfman, but The, the Wolfman was great in this. I love the werewolf's makeup. He was really cool. He was almost like um, Dracula's right-hand guy. Frankenstein was off helping out the kids. And the mummy, the mummy was just kind of doing his own thing in the movie. I don't know what the hell the mummy was up to. The mummy looked really cool all the same. It was a great movie bringing all the sort of classic movie monsters together in a way that didn't stop on stomp on the original ones. And it, it's, it's a lot of fun. I mean, it's really, it's like, when you think of movies that have sort of brought all these monsters together, you know, you look at something like Van Helsing, that was complete garbage, that was just filth. And then you look at something like this, which is just fantastic, completely hits it out of the park. Uh, Fred Decker is an amazing filmmaker. I mean, he made two really great films in the 80s, and it's a shame he hasn't done much since. Um, Shane Black, of course, wrote Lethal Weapon movies, and if you haven't seen Kiss Kiss Bang Bang, do check that out. It's a great flick. He wrote and directed it, and, um, Monster Squad, if you see it out in stores, I mean, I picked it up for, you know, ten bucks, I don't consider that to be a bad price, it's a two-disc edition, it's got a documentary I couldn't even get through, it was so long, I was watching this at like two in the morning, just a really, really fun movie, I mean, it really gets you in the holiday spirit, it makes you want to start up your own monster club, um, so for this edition of R&B Reviews, Brendan, go check out the Monster Squad, take it easy.